center of mass can be defined not just as a stationary point, but it too can move, like the objects that make up its system. The center of mass is defined as the mass weighted average position of a system of objects. It is a vector and hence can only be defined with respect to a declared coordinate system. Note, there can be more than two objects that make up a system. Velocity is displacement over time, or, for those with calculus background, the first time derivative of the position function. The velocity of the center of mass is therefore the mass weighted average velocity of the objects that make up a system. Here is a quick visualization of the movement of center of mass from fat.colorado.edu. Note that while the instantaneous position of the center of mass depends on the instantaneous position of the objects of the system, the movement of the center of mass only depends on the masses and velocity vectors. Observe that the movement of the center of mass is identical in both of these scenarios. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with time. The acceleration of the center of mass is the mass weighted average acceleration of the objects of the system. You may recognize that mass times acceleration is equal to the net force on an object according to Newton's second law. Hence, the net force on the system is equal to the vector sum of the net force on the objects that make up the system. As always, the center of mass can be used to approximate multiple objects as a single object. The net force on the system will be the vector sum of outside forces on the system. The internal forces cancel out according to Newton's third law. Here are some examples to practice calculating the movement of the center of mass. In the first example, we will calculate the velocity of the center of mass of three objects moving in one dimension. Read the problem for masses and velocities and highlight what is being asked for. If not given to you, draw the picture and set up the coordinate system. For velocities, 
you can set up the picture along a straight line but you can also set it up with parallel vectors since only their mass weighted vector sum matters use the drawing that makes most sense to you declare the equation for the velocity of the center of mass solve for the unknown in this case the unknown is the velocity of the center of mass so we can proceed plugging in with units once you have an answer reread the problem and check against the picture you drew in the second example we will calculate the acceleration of a system of two objects each with different net force on them read the problem this time paying attention to forces as well note that in this case free fall refers to a mass being under the force of gravity only hence the net force on it will be calculated as mass times gravitational acceleration g draw the picture and set up a coordinate system if forces are part of the problem declare newton's second law and equate the net force of the center of mass to the sum of the forces on the objects of the system solve for the unknown in this case you must take the problem apart into the components of force and hence acceleration plug in with units paying attention to only plug in for the respective components of forces you can now convert back the components into polar coordinates Finally, reread the problem and check your answer against your drawing. 